check it out. All right, boys, don't sleep on this one. Gorgeous LX, Willwood brakes. Got the SDE Series R wheels. Man, freaking sleep. Dude, car is awesome. Absolutely it, looks great. Thank Stance is amazing. I mean, come on now. What year is it? 93. 93. Yeah. This is it low miles? 27. Wow. Yeah. 26 when I bought it up for the thousand on in two years. Amazing. Yeah. Dude. North Texas Fox Body Club? I am now. Absolutely. Yeah, appreciate you. Bro. Hell yeah, dude. Awesome yeah. car. Thanks for your time talking to me, man. Anytime, buddy. Yeah. Good to see you. Alright, so you guys know this car from a while back this car is local or it used to be local but yeah dude this this thing looks amazing so fresh paint job it is yeah about three weeks ago wow and and you stayed true kept them 89 it's gotta be black dude and the sv series threes look money on this car and you made some upgrades under the hood. Too. I did, yes, sir. Can we see it real yep. quick? I know you're trying to get out of here. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I was to... just closing it down because nobody's walking by. Yeah. But I'll, uh, you, I'll you, open it up. You got the Serbinator wing on the back, too. Uh, so that is actually made by a North Texas Fox Body Club guy named Bud Sharp. Oh, nice. It's similar to Serbinator. Okay. Uh, it's basically the same idea. Um, gotcha. I just needed a little something subtle on the back. Because yeah. when I first bought the car, it had the Mach 1 chin spoiler. And it just looked a little front heavy. Yeah. With the, uh, the a little on the back. Yeah. Yeah. So just a little something on the back. Ah, uh, dude, it's obviously in good hands. Yeah. So Vortec V1 uh, added some cash cans. Yeah. Uh, same heads came intake that was was on it when it was on your channel before. Nice. Uh, and then, you know, outside of that, I changed out the uh, the AOD to a TTI, a TCI Street Fighter. Uh, the AOD that was in it gave up the ghost when I put nine pounds on it. I can so, imagine. Yeah. yeah. But dude, the, the, the stance, the wheels, the paint, like, big fist Thank bump you, on this sir. one. It's Thank freaking you. beautiful. As I was trying to catch up with this guy, but this murdered out GT with the Yodi. Amazing. I mean, this thing. Uh, yeah, I was trying to catch up with him. It didn't happen. But then right next to it, gorgeous 93 Cobra. Oh. Uh, this is epic. For the record, I like these mirrors painted. I like that. That looks good. Give me ideas. All right, so Sean, dude, this thing is nasty. Like, tell me what we're working with here. The wind is terrible, but yeah. <laughs> it's a 427, uh, 10 to 1 compression of a 92 millimeter turbo. Wow. Uh, E85. The igloo, man. I, I love it. I love it, dude. You're running on Holly or? Uh, uh, okay. Dude, this is like seeing this thing driving at you is just insane. Big turbo. Man. Yeah, guys, he ain't playing. under the hood too yes. but i mean stance everything yes sir so it's, it's a gen 2 coyote freight motor board with nice the and all. they have the 
the, the module for you. Yeah. There. Um, and all that. So uh, it's been swapped for two years already, but uh, I've only put 4,000 miles on it. Yeah, I, I, dude, I, I get it. I, <laughs> same with me. Is it manual or auto? Manual. It came with the T fifty six Magnum. Oh, you got the whole, yeah. the whole kit. The whole I got kit. you. Yeah. So, dude. Um, has the um, LMR SB AC kit. Yeah. And then I got a standalone harness for it from a guy on Facebook. Nice. It's, uh, I think it's called uh, Lethal Nate, maybe, oh, or uh, Fathead Garage. Fathead Garage. Yeah. That's correct. That's yeah, right. he does great work. Yeah. I have 06 charger fans. Nice. They pull a little bit more than the contours. Okay. A little bit louder. Um, but they but they work. They work. And I got the Volvo electric power steering hidden uh, away under, under yeah. there. I yeah. love it, dude. How are you liking it? Oh, I love it. It was <laughs> it was it surprised me on the track because it has a UPR key member. Uh-huh. From Ollie. It's not made to go on the track. It's yeah. Made to go straight. Right. Uh, but surprisingly it did it did freaking good. I wanted to go faster, but you gotta, you gotta stay behind yeah, the yeah, yeah. Don't don't get too carried away, dude. Appreciate you being on the video. Car's badass. All right, so Miguel is it? Miguel. Miguel, dude. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Like, so the Calypso F150, like it pulled in. You got the wheels on it, but I didn't realize you got some sauce under the hood too. Lower V1. Man, you got the Explorer intake. Did the heads change? Is that a Rock RPM two heads? Explorer intake on it. Ah. 306 Ford internals. Nice. It is too crazy. Actually, you bought this truck for two grand. No kidding. It was. It's a base model. Color match all the bumpers. And yeah. Bought the wheels. Did the lightning interior. Some way. I'm still looking for the jumper seat. But ah, okay. But we're getting there. And, uh, we got talking, we're talking to the painter just now. Yeah. Get, Get her slicked down. Yeah. So you got the lightning interior, some yeah, of it? Yeah, I need the, jump, the middle jumper seat if you know anybody. Ah, <laughs> dude. I don't even want to know how you found that, because that stuff's impossible to find. Found that marketplace. No kidding. Yeah. Yeah, and these wheels are money on this truck. They were the original lightning wheels. I got them drilled wow. out. Wow. So a lot of lightning guys uh, put the heat on it. I drilled them out. Let's see. Dude, I love it. Uh, this is this is super cool. I can't wait to see you get it painted and, and all that. I'm, I'm from Houston, by the way. Okay, sweet. Oh yeah. Dad, yeah. That, uh, green blue over there. Oh, another one of my favorite colors. All right, so James, probably the brightest color here at LMR Cruising. What is this color? Uh, the color is a custom mix based off Voodoo Violin by House of Colors. Wow. Even the base is a custom mix with a custom shading in the front. I don't know, the, I'm trying to catch it with the sun, but that is crazy. Yeah, you can see right there on the... Man, so is it mini tubs, I'm assuming? Yes, it is. Mini yeah. tub. Uh, the rear is narrowed. Wow. It's got a Gen 3 Coyote with a 10-speed. Nice. I'm, transmission. I'm about to do that in my car. Right now, it's just a stock car. I'm saving my money for a supercharger. So yeah. Whipple Pro Charger. Come on, guys. <laughs> hey, hey, hick yeah. him up. Man, got the Comp Series wheels. That color, dude, you just... Wow. Feed locks. And of course, representing... Yes, sir. <laughs> Love the rear spoiler. Yeah, there it is. But, man, this is this is amazing. Have you had it to the track yet? Or? No, I haven't. I just finished the car about four weeks ago. I got you. I've had it for 30 years. No we kidding. We restored it about six years ago and built it from the ground up. Wow. Dude, the body work is just amazing. Yes, it's dusty. We're, we've been partying all day, but I mean, oh, amazing. All right, Philip, dude, I didn't get your car in the video last year. So this car, it's 93? 93. And low miles, isn't it? About 49,000. I put on, I think, about five. Because <laughs> you're enjoying it. But just basic heads cam Vortec? Or? Yeah, um, heads cam intake. Uh, it's got Vortec, about nine pounds. Nice. 47 pound injectors, 340 in tank. <laughs> and of course, the GT40 tubular. That's right. Going up in value every day, and you're getting to use it. So everyone's asking me where I found it. Uh, fortunately, it was on the car. <laughs> that didn't that didn't hurt at all. What heads are on it? Uh, they're uh, GT40 Y303 heads. Oh, okay. They're all the aluminum heads from the 90s. Nice. Uh, and if I remember right, this car is like really clean. Like 
Well, we gotta show this interior yeah. off. Original factory leather. Original paint, original interior. Dude. Yeah, get the gauges. This is like this is like the perfect like retro cruiser mobile. You know? Yeah. It's it's really nice. You got the you got the SVEs. I freaking love it, man. That that's what's so cool about this show that I usually don't get to do is just walk around and get to enjoy looking at these cars, you know? Yeah, right. And uh this thing's nice, dude. I appreciate you being in the video. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Guys, so there you go. Just a very, very small taste of the well over 1,500 cars at the LMR Cruise in 2022. Great meeting all of you guys again. Thank you for letting me show off your ride. We will catch you in Texas next year.